Welcome. Would you like to come in and enter? I was thinking of performing at the new Einstein theory, theoretical thoughts within a mind. You think my hair will get in? Do I look like Einstein? My hair is just a different color. I've got skin color hair. See how much hair I got? And you can always put your hands through it. Anyways, this is what I want to say. I want to bring you into a thinking that I'm doing right now. And right now, one of my thoughts was, is 19 times 19, which is apparently a cycle of the moon, okay, because of the first 19. So what you have to do is you have to bring all the reasons of why 19. And one of the why 19s is, is because when you look at this paper over here, you see this over here, this is 19. But if I flip it upside down, it's 61, because that's the way it works. It's just the way it works. What do you want me to tell you? Can I prove it? I can show you enough equations, enough mathematical equations that will prove to the fact that when I do flip it over, I'll get the same answer, but from the other side. It's just like saying, I've got a dollar. Do you want 19 cents or do you want 81 cents? You see, the 81 cents won't happen. I got a dollar. In order to have 19 cents, the other portion has to be 81, but it's not. Why? Because in each area, you need to bring each area worth its own number one value into its own number one value. I don't know if that's the way it works. It's called the 10-10 world, where when you remove something from something else, it's now no longer there. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to jump onto the beginning of space and time. When we go through the beginning of space and time, space is 44, time is 47, spirit equals 91. 91 times 4, or 91 times 52 cards, divided by the 91 is 7. 13 by 7 is 9, 91. 91 or 19. This is the one area I want to go. This is the same area for the football field. 61 moons on Saturn, and it only has to match in my world. I just need it like a lead. The red and the blue, 2740, the spirit of 67, it is number one and two. And in number one and two, okay, you have the total of 62 in between one and two. Why do you get that? Because when you add up the numbers one to 36 and you put them three, per, three and four per box in roulette, you end up with 58 and you end up with 62. I'm sorry, the average is 120. It's 120. 120 is adding up 1 to 15, which is actually adding up 1 to 14, okay? The one spirit of the five circle, the circle of life, your circle, you get, obviously you get that number. If you see red and blue, it says QZ, or they remove the Q from the seventh position and put it in the one position, but guess what? The minute it gets back to the one position, you now can remove this part over here, and it becomes OZ instead of QZ. Why? Because in all actuality, these two have to enter each other, the beginning and the end. The queen to the dog goes 17 to 28. When you remove this, it becomes the O, because man is now living in this area. And I'm going to show you why. In low shoe, one gets four, four gets three, and two gets nine. One, two, three, four, nine. That's all you need. You don't need five. You don't need six. You don't need seven. You don't need eight. Because inside of this one over here, this one over here, three times four, three plus four gives you seven and twelve. One and four, in low shoe, three gets the four hole. Three gets the four hole. So now what I'm going to show you, did you understand that? 1415, the first four numbers in pi, 1.141592, 65. Why 65? The E and the F letter that come together. 
DC EN TD. It says Bien Z C. Bien is in French. Can you do anything else with this word? It also means to own something. Okay? These are your numbers C D A D E N N and E. If you put them together, it becomes the letter S19. They become the letter as N, the letter E and N equal to 19 together, the 5 and the 14th, the cross on man's back. This N over here will now re reflect this one over here, 959. The Einstein theory seems like what's banging on the bell. If we addition these up, I'm going to show you what they do. Low shoe, 1 and 4 come together. 1 is 58, 4 is 70, 128. 128 is the Y split between two worlds. When you multiply them and add it up, you get Z. When you remultiply and add it up, you get T. The same thing happens for the 17, the queen. 2 and 9, okay? 1 and 2 go together, okay? And 8 and 9 go together. This one's missing the 8, but it has the one side of the dog pound. 7 times 4 will make it its 28. 128, 2 in the 2 position is the 9 in low shoe. 90 and 62 is 152. We now get Israel and Zion of the spirit of 76. And 6 and 4, everybody knows when I get 10, I always mark a 7 in the spot. Because you're not going to be able to mark too many 7s in the spot. They won't exist. 19, 29, uh, 28, 30... 19, 28, 37, 19, 28, 37, 46. There's only four of them, 7777. Seven, seven, seven. And the fifth one is the one that connects them, 7777. 5775 is the year we're in right now. 7 by 5 is 35, 7 plus 5 is 12. Total is 47. 48 is the space in man's head. 47 okay, which is the Einstein theory of calculating everything to 4 and 7, 7 around with the 7th gate. I don't know how to say it any better than that. 4 and 7, 4 by 7 is the 28 days of the moon. Two times we have the comet coming. I don't know what the reflection is exactly. I haven't worked on it enough to know, and maybe I will not know, will not know at, at all anyways, but I'm just mentioning it. Um, 7 and 4, uh, in between 7 and 4 is 5 and 6. And what you actually did between 5 and 6 and 7 and 4 is that 5 and 6 go inside of 7 and 4, and 5 and 6 are created, okay, by, by 2 times 3 and 2 plus 3 equals to 5 and 6. When Moses is born, if you multiply 50 times, uh, 50 times 47, it'll equal 2350. 2, 3 creates 5, 6. I told you 0 becomes automatically 6 all the time. Maybe it doesn't, but that's the way I work and it always works out for me. So what I want to show you, 64 and 76. When you complete A, B, and C, look, 128, 152, 128. Did I make a mistake? Let's see. In the 3 position, we have 66. In the 2 position, we have 62, 128. 1 and 4 outside 2 and 3 works out. 256, 356, 358, 438, 438. Can't explain it, but it's all about something to do with your mind. But anyways, this one becomes 11. This one becomes 8, and this becomes 11, 8, 11, which is 2, 8, 2. 6 times 47 time equals 2, 2, 8, 2. Number 43, these two numbers, the Z and the Q, both number 17 and 28. The total here is 43. 3 times 4, 3 plus 4 is 12, and 7 equals 19. Here's your 1. Your opposition to the other side is your 19. Low shoe, number four and three, where earth comes together. 
136, 613 Laws of Moses, the 6, 1, and 3, points in football, and how do you get points in football? The average total is 68. Half of this, 68, and half of that is 34, 43, all the same thing, 3 and 4. It works out so perfect. This to the 10th and world is 42. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, 42 and 20, 42 and 86, or 68, makes 10, 10. The only ones that ever do that after that is 76 and 34, the spirit of 76. 96, 9 times 6 is 54, 9 plus 6 is 15. The total is 69. There is no half total, so what I did is I split this in half. 54 is times 2, it's 27, 2 times 27, 3 by 5, 3 by 5 is 15. 68, okay, 7 times 6 equals 42, 2 times 4 equals 6 and 8, 68 equals 48 and 14 equals 62. Half of this is 31, 1 times 3, 1 plus 3 equals 3 and 4. And that's how it all begins, number three and four. That's why when they went Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe, how much is nine times six? They knew the percentage of nine and six was seven and six. Because you live by the two gateways of seven. The eighth way to live of six and eight are the gateways. It's the seventh. The entry is the seventh, the seventh gate, but there are two of them. It's seven, seven, eight. The second one exists. You live in both of them. But unless the electronic one doesn't exist, and they both don't exist. 6 by 8 is 48. 4 and 2 to the 10, 10 world. 1 and 4. 4 and 2, 1 and 4. 1 and 4, 2 and 4. First, second. First, second. This one was the first world. This is the second world. Did you understand why? Because to make this to a 10, 10 world, it's 42. To make this to a 10, 10 world, it's 14. 14 from 42 is 28. Man walks. To make this to a 10-10 world, okay, to make this to a, to a 10 world, like I said, it's 1 and 4. Let's bring it down to this one over here. These were the first numbers. 7 times 6 should have been the first numbers, equals to the 42. Seven, okay, now, because there's, there's another way to do it, I just noticed, but let me work it out again. The difference between here and here is 5 and 4, and that's the number of the sun. The distance between the two is 5 and 4, the number of the sun. So when you multiply it, 9 times 6 is 54. He took away 54 from this because he knew the universe was greater. So he gets this. So this is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe. 9 times 6 is 54. 9 plus 6 is 15. 4 plus 2 is 6. 6, 6. You don't have to count them. 9, 6. See the way this was 96 right over here? Why should he just repeat what he had to say? But still, it's not a full reason what the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe is. When you put this together, this becomes the purple ball and pull. It becomes the four ball, and one and two is three. It becomes the four ball and the three balls, purple and pull. The six ball, which is a six and 14, which makes 20, the green ball, six and 14 is man. The 14 is the cross on his back, but it's the AD electricity between A and D, number 128, the house within the moon in man's mind. Why the moon in the spirit of man's mind? Because Neptune is the eighth of man's mind of two of his one spirit, one, two, and eight. And I just read you that on low shoe. In number five, it remains at 148. 148, like I showed you at the beginning of this video, space and time. And here we go with our 12 again. You're 12 and you're 20. You're green, okay, would make your 20. How can you make 32 in, in pool? You cannot, but your green makes you, this one, this one can be added up as uh, uh, 12, which is from number, the four ball. Here's your four, here's your 12, all in by number eight. Four and eight recreate your purple inside of it. Creates the eight ball and the four and the 12 are the purple balls. And the other ball, since you have 12, excuse me, 4 plus 8 is 12, the distance between these two is 20. And that's your green ball, which is your 6 and 14 ball, will make a difference. And now you'll have 
four six and fourteen on the table. Six and fourteen equals to twenty. So would I switch this? No, I'm not switching any of these, any of these numbers right now. So the other thing I had to do is now I have to do low shoe. Okay, this was number 148. The average is 74. This is Jesus's number. Okay, they keep Jesus. And it recreates space. And I, for I forgot to show you something. I have to show you this. This, the one area. Before I forget. The one area. Let me show you. There. Low shoe. One, one, four, two, nine, three, four. One, two, three, four. We put the bell in the corner, okay, of low shoe. And we ding the bell this way. A, D, D, C, B, I, B, N. Bruins, okay? And I'm trying to see what I'm trying to get out of this. That because it's in this corner of 1 and 2, it goes through 5, 1, and 2. Here's your 5, 1, and 2 memory. Why? 5, 1, and 2, here's your 4, and here's your 2 over here. Do we go 1, 2, and 3, and I add on the third one? Are you following me? Are we following each other? So this was number 2. This was number 9 over here. So 9 gets 90, and in the 2 position, getting 62 is the 152. So you would get... You would get 1 and 4 equals to 128. And then you'll get um, 2 and 9, and it'll be 90, and uh, 62 is 152. And then you get 3 and, and, and 2, in which will actually give you 66, and 62 is 128. And then you'll get... Um, you're going to get uh, 9. You're going to get 4 and 3, which is going to equal to um, 70. 70 and 66 is 136. And 136 that I showed you are the 613 laws of God and a whole bunch of other things. Add up to the letter P, 1 to 16 equals 136. 361 is 19 times 19, which is a reflection of three parts of the moon. 19 times 19 times 19 is what we always should do it. Multiply everything three times. Maybe we shouldn't, but right now, even four times. Even all the time. It's just to see if you find something new that I haven't found yet. Oh, of course. Stupid of me. Then we have 5 and 5 equals to 148. So, will we get into 6? What happens... You see the bell, the way it's starting to look like a four? Well, after I show you this bell, here's the stick. Somehow, okay, they move the one to this corner on the bottom, I'm, I'm presuming, of the keyboard. I have to find out which way they put the one. And what they do is they draw a line from here to here. You see this little line? And it's always dipping inside the liquid. And I drew that line only because I asked myself, where is the six? Four is automatically connected to six where? Over here. Imagine six was over here. Over here would be number, imagine six was on this corner. To this corner, to this corner. This one has to touch two corners and the center. Your center is five and one. Everybody knows the center is five and one. You play cards, you see the ace hole is in the center. So this is AD from AD and also five and five is 10, one and one and zero is one. And and when you use the rodent coil, uh, his, his number set up, and you mix low shoe into it, uh, replacing the numbers, you automatically get six. Oh, it hangs from here, like a, like a shingle, okay, whatever, a tassel or whatever it is. It has to hang inside the water somehow, like a ground, uh, like, like putting an electricity inside the bathtub or something with water, just for the grounding of the transmission. The transmission of what? for spirit to come in, okay? So, yeah, this could be Taco Bell. So we take all these numbers of the bell, and I don't use any other numbers. How come? Because I want to do Jackson 5, A, B, C, D. I want to keep everything under 5. So, 
So where am I? Let's see where I am. Okay. So should I do number six? Let's leave it the way it is. Should number five be cut in half because we're going from this corner all the way to this corner? What should we do with number five? If we cut it in half, it would be 74. If we cut it again, it would be 37. Let's cut them all in half and let's see what I get at the most. Uh, the first one is 128. I'm going to make it 32. No, it'll be 64. So 64 will end up to be the backgammon double dice and part of your MB memory. Your MB memory is 4 and 2, and that's the number to the universe of the... The number that will answer the number to uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Universe. So 64, and then 32, and then 16, and then 8, and then 4, and then 2. Then there's 76, 38, 19. This one becomes 19. This one becomes 2. This one becomes 2. This will become 68, 68, 34, 17. And 148 is uh, 74 is 37. So this is what happens to the numbers. This one you can bring down to 2. This one you can bring down to 2. Okay. So you would go 272 or 292. This one would be 17 and this is 37. It can't be torn apart in any way. Look at the numbers. 3 and 4 are adjoining. 136 and this is 5 and 5. They both fit together because you can't split this one any lower than this, 777, seven, seven. excuse me, um, 54, 21, 22, 23, 33, 40, 50, 60, 70, 77. It answers its own self. So by playing the cue in this corner, this is why we're in this corner right now. We're in the corner of Mercury, Mars, unless it's on the keyboard and it's flipped upside down. We're on one of the four corners, okay? And definitely the ding-dong bell, okay, might mean because we're inside Jupiter. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Inside, that's why the bell, the, the, the elixir clicks the way it does. Which other way can we use this? This would equal to the 31 days of the month, seven times. This one will equal to the queen, 51, the two moons of Mars. And there it shows you Earth and Mars. This is number two for the two worlds. So you're inside the BC. This is, this is the electronic spirit and the sandbox inside of your body and mind. Two plus three, two times three of the Saturn body of Earth, of the Saturn world. Eight, nine, ten, eighteen, twenty-four, thirty-two equals five. Two, seven, nine, twelve. 12 and 4 is 16 equals 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5, 7, 5. That's the year we're going into right now. If you multiply 5 by 7, 5, it's 375. 3, 7, and 5 are the two wings of Aleph. That's perfect. 57, 75, the year we are in. 1776 and 67, 71 equal to 7557. 5, 7. Jesus is born 33 times 47 years after Moses, which equals to 1551. In the roulette table, if you read the board, there are three numbers that represent, which is 57, three parts of the moon, and three numbers, and five numbers that represent 25 for the quarterback of Jack, equaling to 5775. The Hebrews say it, the dice cube, the, the numbers are 2, 4, and 6, 8, 10. And when you start calculating their numbers, you get the 6 minus 4 is 2, and 6 plus 2 is 8, and you get the 6 times 4 is 24, all the numbers I get to. So this October, which is 6 and 4 of the 10th month of the 4th day, in which are 6 that are the difference, there's the tooting of the horn. October 4th, we will close the night of Yad, Rosh, was it Rosh Hashanah? And for me, that is the bell into the new world not waiting like every single day that I'm waiting right now. I'm wondering if anything is real. See the pyramid? The way I drew the pyramid? I drew the pyramid because the squares let me draw this. 
Look at the angle I took off. Look at the way, see the way the paper lifts? They teach us. And boy, oh boy, would I like to start learning from somebody who knows. I'm only teaching myself bits and pieces. I'm always under the cover because I really don't know what's at the top. I got to work there. When I get there, I'll definitely know how I got there. Follow me? I might be able to do whatever it is, and somebody might say it's fantastic. Other people say it's ugly. I just say it's all right because I don't know where the peak is. I just don't know. So I'm just trying not to down myself, saying I'm way off, but just to give myself enough energy to go a little bit higher and walk with somebody to the top. Raphael, thank you for watching this video. No. Vanguard, 2555. Vanguard. Study it, look it up, find out about it. Scotland. Find out about Scotland. There's a possibility that a ship came from outer space. But what you call outer space, I only call the rivers of Babylon. Do you know why it's the rivers of Babylon? Because it's water that's not on the level of Earth's surface. It's above the clouds where, we're, where the water is retained before it rains on us. That's what they tell us. Unless it's under the oceans and things are flipped upside down in another world where you take a look and ask yourself, how come the water's not falling out? I don't know very much, and what I do know, I know only very little of whatever it is, but I am very satisfied for having the opportunity to dive and dwell myself inside of, of whatever it is that you think it may be, and study what I think I can, and be happy with the results that I get, not all the time, but not even most of the time, but some of the time. And because all of you come back and give me the comments, it's very important I need these comments. They're like, they're like, it's insane. I'm the 12th man on the field, or you're the 12th man on the field. You're right inside of me. You write something to me, even so small. You're inside of me. You have to be. I who, who else is going to give me results? My results hopefully will retain that I speak for many. The free arm, the free hand, the walking across the street, the questionless, a new rule, a new way to judge and put things up in the way they should be. I did say judge, right? See the Monopoly game? Two different Monopoly games. See the see the why? See the, see the four? And then in this one, you see the two on this side. This becomes the question mark, but this becomes the two. Same thing on this side. They designed the letters. Oh, Ronnie, you're making it up. I don't know why you look so hard. But what are you looking for? You're just making it up. But doesn't it seem real? Oh, but even if it seems real, what are you bothering for? Oh, it's free. It's Ronnie, you got it. It's a gift. It's a gift, Ronnie. Just take it. How can I take it? It's not a gift. I know it's not a gift. If it was a gift, I would take it. I know it was a scam, and I don't like to be scammed. Oh, Ronnie, just leave it the way it is. Don't make stories out of nothing. Well, if it's a story out of nothing, then I'm just going to ask a personal question, and why take it to heart? So I go, uh, is it possible that, oh, you don't want me to ask you? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, we should all just be happy and let people walk all over us. I'll walk all over you. But if there's a way, quietly, nicely, to fix a problem... But to let a problem consist for the rest of my life, if I don't try to fix this problem, it'll bother me for the rest of my life and I'm going to question myself. What's fair is fair. And sometimes what's a little unfair is because sometimes something, let's, let's look at it this way. One guy has $100 million and the other guy needs $2 million dollars in order for him to live the rest of his life. Wouldn't the guy with a couple of hundred million who only needs two million to live his life, who has a hundred million extra and he's always making it all the time, say to the other guy who needs two million, hey buddy, 
I'll give you three million. You know what I'm saying? So then it's not fair again because the other guy, no, from the goodness of his heart that he knew he really didn't need it. If you catch a thousand fish, and if you can't eat them in a month, then you have just killed fish for nothing. Do you understand? I know people who have less than others and need more than just a hand, a handout. They need a handout and they need a salary and they need food in their fridge, even if they waste their food, even if they smoke drugs, even if they are alcoholics. Now you have to come in and say, well, there's only so much. If you're an alcoholic and drink all the time and you run out of money, you'll have food on the table and a place to live for the rest of your life. Raphael 7286 in the Constellation of Pegasus. Somehow it started like this. So what do you think he's going to turn out to be today? Maybe a monkey? Oh, I don't know. We put that on his head. They gave us a headgear. You know why they gave us this headgear? Because while they were building man, that's right, while they were building man, man's monkey mouth was pushed out to hear his monkey mouth. So the scientists, okay, performed not to break off the jaw because it would make the jaw too big, would show all lines, but to put pieces together and hold the jaw back they cut off the whole monkey face and they put on a face for a man. How do you think this looks? Evolution. The evolution happened in the science lab. You want to see an old style human being? Okay. There's a chance we may get to see that routing. Raphael 7286 in the constellation of Pegasus. Six twenty one. What does it say? UCLA, five five and five. UCLA is one of, is one of the outs. Department of Motor Vehicles. The Cats House, seventy two. This is very important. Again, here's another part of Loshu. One to twenty six, two to twenty five, three to twenty four. Because Loshu is ABC. Now you would have to go four twenty two, and that's where Loshu stops. Goes into number five. Number five connects back to number three. Look at five becomes two and one. Two plus one, two times one is five. Two plus one is three. One, two, three, four, five. That's where we stop low shoe. But because one and five, it equals to six. There is nothing more than six. If you see six on the dice, then it's one to five equals 15. Then it's six to 10 equals 40. The total is 55. That's the end. One, two, three, four, five equals 15. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10 equals 40. 6 plus 7 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10 equals 40. Plus 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 equals 15 equals 55 equals the spirit of 76. Let the eagles fly. What is the number to the eagle? E and A, the circle of life. G, L, E. Did you know sell less and to sell more is to sell salt, is to salt something up for taste? Because that's what it says on the radio volume. V, O, L, S, E, L. The eagle is 1, 5, 7, 1, 2, 5. Wow! Wow, Einstein, memory, 9102, the Twin Towers, the Mayan count, everything inside of Eagle, L for the, the, the L is for the wing, the G is for the seventh gate. So the seventh gate, the, the seventh gate, somehow, somehow the seventh gate uh, might, might be somewhere in the shape of a V and it's caught down below and they come in from two sides because if there's an L letter, which is number three, and the G letter, which is like a wing. It's somewhere to attach the wing to the breast so it can, so it can use the inside energy of the body to make it flat. So we get 17, 26, 27, we get a 32. Eagle is the back door 11. Spirit angel and man is the eagle claw. So that means is it evil or is it good to have an eagle claw inside your brain disturbing your vibrations? Raphael, 7286 in a constellation of Pegasus. Thank you for watching.